Hi, this is Gary with MacMost.com. Let me show you where you can find that file that you just created but you can't remember which folder you put it in. MacMost is brought to you thanks to a great group of more than a thousand supporters. Go to MacMost.com slash Patreon. There you can read more about the Patreon campaign. Join us and get exclusive content and course discounts. So a common problem people run into from time to time is when they quickly create a new document in an app, save the file, and then exit that app and then they can't remember where they saved that file. After all, you're not always paying attention to the exact folder that you're in when you're doing the save command. But it's pretty easy to find a file that you just created or even one that you created a little while ago. So for instance here I am in Pages and say I have a great idea for a story. I create a new document. I quickly write the story and then I decide to save. I just do a quick Command S and I call it something and save it. And now I close that file, maybe quit Pages and I think to myself, wait a minute, where did I save that file? Where is it located? I look in the Finder. It's not in my Documents folder. I look in maybe the most reasonable place for it and I don't see it there either. Where is it? Well, there are a bunch of different methods you can use to quickly find that file. So one thing you can do is just go right back into that app. I'm going to relaunch Pages here. And Pages is actually going to show me an open dialog and there's the file. So here I can see exactly where I saved it. I put it in the Personal folder in my Documents folder. So now I know where it is. If that's not where it belongs I could always select it here and do Command R and that will open up that location in the Finder and now I can move it around. Now even if you don't get that open window there you can always go to File and then Open Recent and you should see it there as the last document you opened or maybe a few back. So you can open it there and once you have the document opened then you can click here at the top and see where it was saved. You can also go to File and then go to Duplicate but hold the Option key down. That changes to Save As and that usually points you to that same location. But you don't actually have to save the file here. You can just use this as a way to see where the last place Pages saved documents was and be able to then locate that in the Finder. But there's a way to do it without even using the app. If in the Finder you open a new Finder window you may find under Favorites here on the left a Recents folder. Now I don't have that here. I've turned that off. But that's okay. I can always get to it by going to Go and then Recents. And then using Recents here you can usually see that file right at the top. If you've worked on other files since then it may be further down but it's pretty easy to locate. Now this isn't going to show you where it is right off the bat. If you've got the Path Bar turned on here that would be under View and there's Show Hide Path Bar there then you could see where the selected file is located. But you could also select it there and use that same Command R and it would take you right to that folder. You also have the ability to look at Recents across all apps by going to the Apple menu and you have Recent Items. So here you would see Applications and Documents and then there's that document there. It's going to sort these alphabetically not in the order that they were created. So you have to kind of know what it is you named the file. And then of course you can always just search using either Spotlight or the Finder. So using Spotlight, Command Space, if you know the name of the file of course you can search for that. And it will quickly return the results that you want. And here I can see a Pages document today just before now so I know that's the file I want. And I could use the Tab key to see a preview of it and Command R will take me to it. Of course I could also just double click to open it. You can use the Finder for that as well. You can click on the Search button here or do Command F and do a search. Now keep in mind that you could search in the Finder and in Spotlight for the contents of the file. Not just the name of the file. So if you don't even remember what you named it. Maybe you left it as Untitled or something like that. If you know some words that are in it you can easily search for those. So I can search for a word that I used in there and sure enough it returns that document here and you can see this is the one and I didn't even have to know the name. I just used a word that I knew would be unique in there. Or you can use a combination of words and it should be near the top. Now a related problem to this is when you export a version of a document. A lot of times this happens in an image editing app when you're exporting something from there but it also can happen in Pages. You have of course the ability to save up here but you have export options like here Export to PDF and you could easily export a PDF and not realize where it was you saved it. Now a problem here is that if I go to Export again or I go to Save As or Open it's going to go to the location of the current file. 
it's not going to reveal to me the place where I exported that file. And I'm not going to see it under Recent Items. I'm going to just see the Pages file there. I'm not going to see it in Pages under Recents either. But I will see it in the Finder under Recents. And you can see here that PDF is there. And also it will show up when I search in either Spotlight or in the Finder for either the name or something inside of it. Another time that people lose track of where they saved a file is when they're actually downloading something from the web or perhaps an attachment in mail. If you download a file on a web page like that it will usually go into the Downloads folder but it doesn't have to. In Safari you can go to Safari Preferences and in general you can find the File Download Location here. And you can see here it's in the Downloads folder or if I selected another it would be there. But you can also of course choose by control clicking on something you can say download linked file as and then you could set a location for it so it can go somewhere else. In that case you can always click on the downloads button here and you could see the downloads and click the magnifying glass and that will take you right to that document in its location. So the same thing here in the mail app. You've got under mail preferences and then under general you've got your setting for where downloads are normally saved. But you could always do File and then Save Attachments and then save them anywhere you want or Control click on the image or document and Save Attachment. And then you could save it in some other location like I'll put it in the Documents folder here. And let's say I forget where I've saved that. It helps to go back again and look under Save Attachment and you'll see it remembers that location. The same thing if you go here to File Save Attachments. It remembers that last location that something was saved so you can figure out where it went. So you can see there's lots of different ways to find out where a document is if you've forgotten where you've saved it. If you like this video click the thumbs up button below to let me know. I publish new tutorials each weekday. Hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out.